before they knew this. So maybe this was just like the warm-up. You know, now that's when they activate and uh, get get, get uh, full beast mode. That's what they felt, 4-2 win. Yeah, that's what they were saying. So I they, wonder what they're, they're match they, they were thinking of, though. I don't know. I don't the know. They just, in, that, that was losses. just the gut feeling. The gut feeling was a 4-2 win. So, I mean, it could still happen, but it would require for them to take two rounds home on, mm. uh, on a wrangle in the end of things, and that's going to be tricky. Okay, we have a north-westerly to north-easterly uh, plane mm -hmm. trajectory. Mm -hmm. Sandhawk, a very small map. We can expect a lot of action over boot camp at the start. Technical difficulties there. <laughs> um, unfortunately, no Hulk Jesus on this map. No Jesus. We've got to find a new one. Yeah, we, we, we can also see the ruins there getting a bit of attention from both teams. I like Sandhawk. Yeah. I do enjoy uh, seeing Sandhawk in this 23 by 23. Mm. Oh, 23, 32 <laughs> by 32. <laughs> the numbers format. were the same. They just Yeah, I just flipped around. them around. I flipped yeah, reversed yeah, yeah, it, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. Blazing Squad. Pretty You'll old. never get that reference. That's a, <laughs> a very old UK rap group. I would have no idea. Yeah, yeah. flip reverse it. Yeah. But uh, nonetheless, we are seeing shots fired already, and it's going to be uh, beast. Greek and Sebrik to take some, uh, not necessarily losses early, because it seems like he could potentially get rest by a teammate. I mean, it's only the first knock, so there's plenty of time. Yeah. Thing is, for both Shoes and NL, I mean, they're kind of running up in the direction of him. And Mithwain as well have found some opponents early on. There are a lot of players down here in Pine Ooh, oh, 30 yeah. bullets in the clip, and he only needs six to put Yours Death on his back. He's going to go over and try and close this one out, and he does successfully. The first kill goes to the general of Turkey. But we did see what happened last time the uh, general got a first kill. Yeah, that last... You went down in return, right? Yeah, so in the fabled Sandhok map that we saw yesterday where Greece and Cyprus mounted this fantastic comeback against Ukraine, it was Shinje that got the first kill overall, but then he got taken out. And now Mithrain <laughs> is taken off the server. Dude, this is a, a flip reverse hit <laughs> of yesterday. Reverse. It, reverse. It's Turkey's captain... General wow. that gets the first kill and then gets taken out. No, the thing was that Jinji, they won the game despite him going down early. Is that going to be a magic? Or is it not? Shaxi is now under fire as well. Guess who around the corner says, Thank you, I'll take myself that one. But of course, there's still. <laughs> Guess many who's more around players. the corner? Well, yeah, I, I don't know. Guess who? Guess who's around the corner? <laughs> Shaxi. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. The puns, the memes. We've been very subtle. Like, we've been very, very low key with those today. Maybe, uh, maybe as the day progresses, they will, they will. Come Things back and spun force. out of control when uh, <laughs> Hulk Jesus Hulk left Jesus. our side. <laughs> yeah, when he when he started uh, sort of embracing. We need to resurrect Hulk Jesus. <laughs> Can we have a uh, a petition to have Hulk Jesus on all maps? <laughs> <laughs> it's just become the PUBG logo. <laughs> Uh, seems okay. to me like the Turkish players have indeed forfeited Pinan. It was a good city to hold. I mean, if you have control, if you have just some sort of access point where you can cross over the water, it's a good thing to have. But seems to me like BSD 1000 Days and Dark SRS have said, you know what, guys, we are simply outnumbered down here. One of my favorite nicks from yesterday was what was it? It was Crazy Dog 69? Something Dog 69. I think Something he, like that, yeah. I think he was on Team, yeah, 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 team yeah. Finland or Team... I think it was Team Finland. I'm trying to think what the exact name was, but I mean, yeah, something like that. Yeah. It, was a good, it was a good one. We have a lot of dog names, good actually. Ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the thing. That's the, that's the animal of the year, mm. maybe. I don't know. Now, as Turkey back off, giving up Pinan, it's the Greek Cypriot players that gain control, and it's sort of a moving mm. combat scenario here. Turkey being chased down, but also returning fire. We saw a Greek knock onto a Greek player, which is yeah, that's not, not what you want. I wonder how that happened. Yumba there, picking him up. Yep. Zaga, on his feet, but got moves like Jagger. And look at where they're fighting. I mean, I know they talked about not caring too much about the circle, but they're nowhere near it. Like, absolutely nowhere near the circle. And look at this northern situation they're fighting just down. above the combat that we've got a bit below. Um... We see smaller forces of both the Turkish and Greek Cypriot lineup coming towards the rest, maybe to yeah. bolster or to stop the other flanker. You can see how these guys are maneuvering in. I mean, once again, Turkey have the high ground, so they should be able to call in the fact that there's a bunch of players from Greece and Cyprus making their way down here. Whether they're going to cross the bridge or not, I'm not sure. Code Marco clearly caught on the wrong side of the water here. He's going to be all by himself against Magebane and all the... Uh, all the Greek and Cypriot players coming in, but are they going to be down there fast enough feel, or will the push come in from the behind? I feel though Sora's position here uh, could be quite useful and does get a knock onto Code Marco, but Turkey there 
doing some good work as well. Osorio is actually backing off now because he knows uh, he's been spotted and his position isn't quite as strong. Ooh, Chin Jay. Wow. Chin Jay yeah, being not. Chin Jay out. Chin Jay out. This is where he becomes the talker and not the shooter. Mm, yep. and there is no spoon following his general to the heavens. <laughs> we, we do see on Sanhok, I mean, every map, right? High ground is important, but on Sanhok, which is a smaller map, arguably more level terrain, mm -hmm. still the, the, the outcroppings of higher ground are so critical Yeah. Um, with the short sight lines. It does seem to give a massive advantage in the kill feed there. Uh, blazoned with the uh, Turkish flags. And that's the thing, right? They're getting themselves a lot of those early kills despite the fact that they were the ones to be forced to disengage. That disengage actually paid off because they kind of lured a lot of the Greek players to overextend mm. and it caught them off and they just took a lot of casualties in trying to do that. And more importantly, now they're being on the northern side. The Greek and Cypric players have to figure we have to go all the way around them somehow in order to get inside that circle because we saw it pump and went far, far up north and it's already closing in. It is... And the Turkish players have a force in the circle already. Mm. This ain't going to be easy. This is not going to be easy at all. We could potentially be looking at something close to four match point games in a row should they win this one. Right? That would be absolutely horrible for the uh, for the Greek and Cypher team. But yeah, and the Turkish team they're... now, they, they feel like they can back off without necessarily having to throw out too much fire hmm. towards Greeks and Cyprus, which, which means they, they're able to focus a lot more on their next move. Yeah. And that could potentially mean they're a lot better set up for the circus. And just in terms of overall spread right now, they, they look to be in that position. They've got that group to the, the, the central south area that's in between Greece and Cyprus and the circle. So they have uh, the priority to move up and join the rest of their team yeah. in the safe zone. And I don't think we will see any and the of blues the... Uh, in rapidly. Yeah, exactly. I don't think we'll see any of the Turkish players do anything to try and hold them off from getting inside this circle. Seems like they're going to push along the, uh, the western side right by the water. And as we can see, there's plenty of room for the uh, Greek and Cypriot teams to move up east. And fortunately, they did manage to uh, sort of um, narrow down the lead a little bit from Turkey. So only three players in difference right now. And uh, of course, that can still go either way. But um, this fight, of course, far, far from over. But I like the fact that they start engaging this early on. It's like, uh, you know what, guys? We are going to take it to you immediately. And that's what we've been missing from the Greek and Cypriot team to dare to confront them. Indeed. And now the teams are focusing on repositioning, outrunning the blue, or hanging around inside it to make the move... Um, when they when they deem appropriate, the Turkish team have done a great job so far mm -hmm. of managing distance and uh, the sight lines and, and and positioning and and they now are centering around the boot camp area. Also, just the way that they've rotated. I mean, we heard it from uh, Chinje himself as one when we asked him, "What are they doing differently from the other he guys?" He mentioned been rotations. They're he? fast. They are, and we talked about it. That's how we we, like, we, we gave, keep giving compliments to the Greek and Cypric for how in-depth their communication is. Mm -hmm. But that's needed because they're trying to do so many different things at the same time. Whereas to in Turkey, you don't need to send the info that far down the ladder. It's more of a, guys, we're all doing this now. As soon as you hear that from the commander, everybody knows exactly what to do, and you can react to it so much faster. And I think that's why they tend to have sort of the upper step on the oh, opponents. God. Holy moly, we are right. far north. And we have a circle that creates a wall of water. Yeah. Which, of course, means that from some angle, from some angles, there's going to be no way out. Your your back is going to be to that water, and you can't run away. What do you do? Well, now we see some fights starting to happen. Mobs are going down early, but what? you do if you're Turkey, you know, if you're Greece and Cyprus in this game, because you clearly have the upper numbers. Sure, they don't, might not know that, but can you push left and try and cut them off, potentially, already now, on the edge of the circle? Um, if they do that, they're going to have to do it fast, and they're going to have to be aggressive about it, and we're seeing yeah. that happen uh, in the current moment. Uh, there's an, a big exchange going on which is coming from behind, though. you got to constantly keep your 360s clear for Pepe Le Pew and for Miskolito. They need to be aware of the fact that people could be coming in from behind here. Huth there with some trigger discipline. Don't want to start shooting. They're only two guys, so it makes sense there. I was just going to say, afraid of taking shots, but they start shooting immediately. Oh, and that's called panning, Koski mm -hmm. on the floor. And Gava <laughs> Armet taking out Botsman. He's just knocked. He's not in a great position exactly, and he's taken out. Yeah. 
off the server. And important for them to get those finish offs too, because look at how much room that just gave for all the people trying to make their way in from the south for the uh, for the team. And now, honestly, I mean, if at any point Turkey realizes we have the step, like we have the jump on the uh, the bunch of players coming in far, far, far down south from Greece, they can split out here and prevent them from going up and joining their teammates. I feel as though the Greek and Cypriot players don't want to go too far north here. You kind of want to split this right down the middle from north to south, or at least stay even uh, more southeasterly within the circle, because if then the Turkish team were to swoop underneath them, they're going to be getting pushed towards the water. Yeah. Do we have any players further south than this? Like, yes, out in the blue? No, okay, so, so Sagar is the further south. Okay, I was just wondering, because it didn't seem like they had a lot, but sure, they also... Oh, Kalimdor as well, Snake in the Grass. That would be a good there, trade, there. even if he just picked up Bilem. He could be the um, one of those, again, you don't need to get spotted. You don't need to see them. You, sometimes it can be even more information to, get, or information to give to not have anyone around you because that clears off such a big area. In, and you can the, see him spinning around, getting mm -hmm. as much information mm -hmm. as possible as he tracks down Billum. He's looking for yeah. the brush. Is this twig um, broken? Has someone <laughs> stepped on it? <laughs> Picking up some fabric uh, yeah. uh, There's dust. The yeah. couplings around this one. Exactly. <laughs> He, they ran this way. He's got some fantastic <laughs> information. This is really, really strong play. You know, you watch esports and sometimes the most exciting clips can be the biggest sort of gunfights and, yeah. and crazy moves. But things like this cannot be overlooked in terms of adding strategy information and, and overall control, just being that silent witness. Yeah, I mean, Calendor in, in particular as well, he's been pretty, if not the most uh, sort of seen uh, person in the... Uh, in the uh, MEA or in the Turkish PUBG esports scene, then he's at least one of them of alongside guys like Iron. Oh, and see, he can hear the other car coming as well, for sure. Very talented player. Yeah, he looks right over. They've got no Three clue. Three guys in the car too. They've got no clue. <sighs> the fact that they get around, that could have been a triple killer right there. That's so fortunate. And Billum is just hiding in a corner. Is he looking out the window or is he hiding in a corner? I'm not sure. So shots been fired once more. I mean, we don't really have the front line the same way that we had really early on down by Painan. But these teams are starting to gathering up on each their side. And now the circle goes even further north once more. And now, guys, now Greece and Cyprus, you have the percentage, you have the chance, you've got to utilize. Billum has got an idea. I mean, at least he's looking behind him. I don't know if they're aware that Kalimdor is there or if they're just being careful. Hmm. Either way, they need to make sure that this small task force joins up with the rest of the crew whilst keeping the back line safe. Um, because the, this is... Uh, potentially the final bath site to kick off in 13, uh, at the 13 minute mark. Percentage wise, they're sitting at something like 60 to 65 percent of the circle right now. Yeah. They cannot allow for Turkey to take ground. Every single knock you get, that's going to be one guy pushing up to the next tree in these areas of the map. It's so hard to play around, but you need to stand your ground here if you're the Greek and Cypriot team. Even though you're down in numbers, that's the thing. Because they're already pushing further up north, as you can see. Just a few shots fired by both teams. Yeah, Kalimdor taking it down now as well. That was the yeah. flank. That was the flank. Billum did Billy have an idea that yeah. Kalimdor was was tracking him. Good shot. He did a great job there of keeping an eye out and stopping that flank, that you informational to, play. You have to always jump around, look behind you. That's what you'll see the pros do, and that's why you need to do it yourself as well. There can always be people coming in from either the side or behind, especially on Sanok Pandex. Trying to get himself some damage done, managed to do so, but does go down in return. Yep, the Turkish players here doing a great job of managing the 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 sight lines. And if someone does commit from Greece and Cyprus, they're on them like a hawk. They have got them split into two groups now. Turkey, we haven't seen Turkey do this. A this lot. is a really, really smart play. They are, they are pushing Greece north. north. Yeah, they're, 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 the get, they're getting them towards that water. And having the two different groups means a lot more angles are going to be uh, taken care of. They're going to have a lot more information based on uh, their field of view. Yeah. And the fact that they're allowed to do so means that Turkey is clearly playing on it. Ooh, Ooh, nice one nades. more. Ooh. Best down. She just has to make the run on up all by himself. Non Giggle has a clear idea of where he is. Did he see him go down there? I don't know. But we're just four, four players in uh, in favor of Turkey right now. But of course, this, as we talk about all the time, could still go either way. And here we can see that Pushing offshoot of the Turkish force going around the edge of the blue. Uh, 
Turkey flanking. That is not something we've yeah. seen so far, but this could really, really work. They're doing a great job pinning in. I don't know if uh, Baronara has spotted them out. Giko, you can see, is waiting for Shears to peek over. But Shears was anticipating him to be up in these rocks and does take him down. And all of a sudden, what we have seen Greece do so well in pinning down and swarming opponents is being done towards them. Baronara running around there. I'm not entirely sure if he's aware, but I think they are... Yeah, they must have known this one. Exactly. Now from, yeah, shots yeah, are being yeah, fired yeah. from that direction. They 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 had an uh, an inkling that that could be happening, potentially based on how many Turkish players were on the other angle. And yeah, it's 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 a really really smart play by by the Turkish uh, Turkish forces. Look at the knocks coming in. They're pretty much all in favor of Turkey. And even though you have the uh, you have the compound favor, you have the hard ground, a hard uh, hard cover for the Greece and Cypriot teams, with them being sort of pinned down inside these houses, they're just allowing for Turkey to take up so much ground. Turkey are doing such a good job here. This is some very tactical, uh, very cerebral play yeah. by the Turkish team. They, they, there's clearly a strategy being executed, and the, the decision-making is, is very smart. Seven players up now, which is a four-man lead before, and they're kind of than, furiously getting knocks in. Yeah, and more than anything, the shots are being landed. Shish doing some fantastic work there. Everybody is now at, ahead, collapsing in on each other. The Greek Cypriot players doing their best to return some fire. But at this point, 20 to 12 in favor of Turkey. All Turkey need to do is trade. The more knocks you get yeah. as well, the less active guns there are out on the battlefield. And that's exactly what's happening. Just more and more Greek Cypriot players fall. And you see the entire front that we had out to the east. The fact that they were allowed to flank around this side. We haven't seen these flanks be done that well so far. We haven't seen them be executed that well. But holy cow, did they take Greece by surprise. And this has been a, a faster map than the first yeah, two. Maybe yeah. Turkey yeah. growing in confidence and, you know, executing plans uh, with a lot more um, momentum and, and, and speed. And just one thing that's impressive to me is the fact that we have seen two things happen from the Turkish team now. They've had really good engages, but they also disengaged early on. And it allowed for them to pretty much take the win in the end, right? Such smart plays coming in. Now the pan is out. Naskal is all by himself. And Whoa, look at the chase the coming pan in. Legion. He's not able to do anything. That Nate pretty much took out his own team. He's so, how is he still alive? How is Naskal alive? He's. What is going on? I <laughs> there don't you know. go. <laughs> They're all knocking each other. 13 <laughs> Turkish players ended up surviving. They went for the pan play.